Welcome to our channel Food Tech Talks. In this video, we will be discussing previous year questions that was asked in Pondicherry University entrance exam in the subject Food Science and Nutrition. This video is presented to you by me, Ashima. If you have any doubts and queries, please do mail us through the given mail ID. Pondicherry University is a central university recognized by UGC. Department of Food Science and Technology of the University offers two courses MSc Food Science and Technology and MSc Food Science and Nutrition. Admission to these courses will be through the entrance exam conducted by the University. In this video, I will be discussing the previous year questions on food science and nutrition. So, let's get started. Question number 1. Heart covering is called option A myocardium, B pleural membrane, C pericardium, D peritoneum. Answer is option B pericardium. In our body, abdominal organs are situated in the abdominal cavity which is lined by a continuous membrane known as peritoneum. Each lungs is contained within a cavity known as pleural cavity and they are covered by a membrane known as pleural membrane. Our heart wall is composed of three layers of tissue. These are epicardium, myocardium and endocardium. Myocardium is the muscular middle layer of the heart wall. Pericardium is the double walled sac that encloses the heart. So our answer is pericardium. Question number 2. Bile juice is essential for digestion of option A protein, B carbohydrate, C fat, D calcium. Answer is option C fat. In our body bile juice breaks down the fat and helps in their absorption in the small intestine. Bile is a dark green to yellowish brown fluid and it is secreted by the liver and where it is stored, it is stored in the gallbladder. It is composed of bile, salts, water, bile pigments and cholesterol. The bile pigments are bilirubin and biliveritin. Question number 3. Essential amino acid limiting in pulses is option A methionine, B tyrosine, C lysine, D glycine. Option is answer A methionine. What are essential amino acids? These are the amino acids that a body cannot synthesize on its own. So it has to be regularly supplied through the diet. Sources of these in our diet are through the proteins like meat and dairy products. There are 9 essential amino acids in our body. These are histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan and valine. Pulses lack in the essential amino acid methionine and cereals lack in lysine. Fourth option, fourth sorry, fourth question, niacin deficiency causes option A, underweight, B, tongue fissuring, C, CVD and D, none of the above. Answer is option D, none of the above. In our body, deficiency of vitamin B3 or niacin causes a disease that is pellagra. Disease, the disease causes symptoms like dementia, diarrhea and dermatitis. It is known as the three D's of pellagra. In some people it causes dermatitis around the neck. In the picture you can see that it looks like a necklace. So it is known as Castle's necklace. Question number five. D and Z value are critical in food. Op option A contamination, B preservation, C storage and D, none of these. Answer is option B, preservation. For preservation of 
food, we use heat treatments. D and Z value come under this. D value is the time required at a specific temperature and under specified conditions to reduce a microbial population by 1 decimal. Basically, D value is the decimal reduction time that is required to kill 90% of the spores or vegetative cells of a given organism. Z value is the increase or decrease in temperature required to reduce or increase the decimal reduction time by one decimal. Question number 6. A source of omega-3 fatty acid is option A ghee, B dry coconut, C butter, D linseed. Answer is option D linseed. Omega-3 fatty acids are rich in fish like salmon, mackerel, tuna, herring and sardines. The other sources of omega-3 fatty acids are flaxseed, chia seeds, walnuts, flaxseed oil, soybean oil and canola oil. Question number 7. Lactose comprises of glucose and option A sucrose, B maltose, C galactose, D fructose. The answer is option C galactose. Monosaccharides are single sugars, example glucose. Disaccharides are double sugars, meaning they are composed of two monosaccharide units. Example, sucrose, they are made of glucose and fructose. Maltose is made up of two glucose units. Lactose is composed of glucose and galactose. Polysaccharides are multiple sugars. They are made up of many monosaccharide units example starch glycogen question number eight the cutoff point for anemia in pregnant women is option a 11 milligram per dl b 12 milligram per dl c 10 milligram per dl d 13 milligram per dl the answer is option a 11 milligram per dl so anemia is a pathological condition caused by decrease in the rbc count or hemoglobin levels so the cutoff for hemoglobin level in pregnant women is 11 milligram per dl meaning that the pregnant women should have hemoglobin level more than 11 milligram per dl to prevent anemia question number nine preschool children health status is evaluated by using Option A growth index, B growth curve, C growth chart, D growth marker. Answer is option C growth chart. So growth chart is a chart that is used to monitor the growth of preschool children in Anganwadi centers. It evaluates the nutritional status of the children by monitoring their weight on a regular basis. Question number 10. Based on physiological functions, foods can be divided into option A 3 groups, B 4 groups, C 2 groups and D 5 groups. Answer is option D 5 groups. These are the 5 groups. They are fruit and vegetables, cereals and cereal products, milk and dairy products, foods containing fats and sugar, meat, fish and poultry. Friends, I hope this video will be helpful in your preparation. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, share it to your friends, press that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it. And thank you for watching.